Hi friends and welcome to Crumbs from Jarad. Today we celebrate the feast of Saint Mark. What do we know about Mark? In the Gospels we hardly know anything about him. But tradition tells us that he was a writer of the Gospel of Mark. Through the Bible we see, especially in the book of Acts, that Mark is the same John Mark that is mentioned in Acts. We are also told that the, one of the first household churches was in his house. His mother was Mary. And so you can see the influence of having a household church in your home can have on you. Now, if Mark wasn't an apostle of Jesus, where did he get his information about Jesus? One, as I just told you, his home was a household church. And so obviously he was listening to all the beautiful things said about Jesus. But more importantly, he had a first-hand source because Papias, one of the early church fathers, tells us something about him. Mark, who was Peter's interpreter, wrote down accurately, though not in order, all that he recollected of what Christ had said or done. So wonderful. The teachings of Peter, Mark wrote down and that has come to us in the form of the Gospel. Now what is the importance of the Gospel of Mark? One is, you know, there are thousands of lives of Christ, but the very first life of Christ is Mark's gospel. Second, he was the influencer also of Matthew and Luke, because Matthew and Luke had the gospel of Mark when they wrote their gospel. And third and most important, in the Bible, we don't have any gospel of Peter. But when we read the gospel of Mark, we have the gospel of Peter. What did Peter preach? in the early church, here you have it in the Gospel of Mark. Now, what about ourselves? What can we pick up from the Gospel of Mark? Just one thing for right now. When you see the Gospel of Mark, it seems like a theology of the cross. What do I mean by that? One third of the Gospel of Mark deals with the last one week of the life of Christ. So what is he giving us? He's giving us a theology of the cross. The whole gospel is focusing towards the cross because Jesus starts his journey in Galilee and walks towards the cross. And at the end of chapter 8, 9 and 10, Jesus gives us a prediction of his suffering and death and then tells us that that's going to be part of our lives. So for ourselves, my dear friends, a Christianity without a cross is not Christianity as Jesus gave it to us. A Christianity with the cross is part of our life. So we are called to pick up our crosses and follow Jesus. God, Heavenly Father, give us a grace as the Gospel of Mark tells us so clearly that to be Christian is to be joyful and yet pick up our crosses and follow Jesus. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Have a wonderful day with Jesus.